Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we talk about my CNC. It's been six years. More specifically, we talk about the Raspberry Pi being the controller for six years. Yes, six years. I can't believe that it's been that long already. And what an experience it's been playing with the CNC for the last six years. So in case you don't know, this is a Gatton CNC. You know, the router's covering up my sticker that I put on there. It's all right. But anyway, um, yes, uh, Gatton CNC. So it's a plywood kit that you put together and, uh, and build it from there. Uh, there's been a couple other videos on my channel about it over the years, uh, but this is 2024, so it's worth it for another one. Um, there's also a lot of dust on everything. Good times. <clears throat> so, in six years, what's really changed with this machine? Not as much as you would think. So, let me go over the few things that I've done to modify this machine and what I've done with the Raspberry Pi. Well, in the six years, I put it in a different box. Uh, originally, I just had it on a piece of wood and uh, I had this enclosure, I put it on there. I did add this uh, Mach 3 pendant uh, that I won during a contest. And I also added a Z uh, touch rope. On the machine itself, I added an extra Z on the back, but I haven't finished it yet, but maybe I will this year. And probably the most noticeable, as far as agronomics are concerned, I added a stand, but you can still see the feet from when I had this thing sitting on the ground. It was a lot easier to clean when you could just walk on it and sweep it off. So why have I used a Raspberry Pi instead of something else? Well, at the time that I decided to do this, there wasn't a whole lot of information out there on it. And, you know, right now, the original video that I did on adding the Raspberry Pi uh, controller has over 76,000 views, which was pretty much an anomaly for the rest of my channel. But in reality, it just worked. I used BCNC, I've never updated it, and it just keeps working. And with the few additions that I did to it, like the touch probe and the pendant, there was no need to change anything. But I think what you're really here for is what I don't like about it. And there's really only one thing, maybe two, but one thing. And that's when I go to power everything on. I power it off on here with this uh, strip. So this strip does the uh, power uh, supply box here. It powers the Raspberry Pi, uh, and, uh, um, and it powers the router that's currently on there. And uh, that's about it, I think. Yeah. So when you power everything on, you can't do the Raspberry Pi until you've turned everything else on. For whatever reason, my screen that I use on my computer doesn't recognize that the Raspberry Pi turns on unless you plug it in after you've turned the rest of the screen on. It's weird, but that's the only thing I don't like, but I don't think anybody else would have that problem, to be honest with you, <laughs> just me. This is the latest project I've done with it. Uh, it's a Death Star light wall from Star Wars, and it's going in my laser cabinet, laser closet cabinet. I think that's more, it's more well, it was a closet until I ripped the doors off and widen the doorway. It's a mess. So if you're thinking about doing a Raspberry Pi for your next CNC controller, do it. It's easy. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support in this manner.